You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Not sure if we have any Crashlings fans out there, but these are some Meteor Mutants from outer space. And we have four different uh, Meteors, kind of like blind bags, but they're in the shape of Meteors. We don't know what's in them. So let's just take a closer look at the four. There's four colors now. We have a gray, a black, a red, and a green. And I saw one said Dino. So this one says Aliens. This one says Insects. And we have a Monsters. And then this is the one I think said Dinos. Yes. And a Dinos. So that's kind of like right on the packaging on all these right here. But let's get out of this. Uh, let's get those out of the way and see if we can get into the Dinos. Now I'm not sure if there's an easy way to get into these. Sometimes these are hard to get into unless you cut. So let me grab a tool here and cut. I don't know if you saw the packaging there. It says uh, Meteor Pops up to four feet high. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what that does. What else is there? Over 150 to collect. Wow. 2014 Wicked Cool Toys. All right. Let's see. Do they just open? Do you pop them open? Ah, okay. So there's our first dino. Let me turn this down here. I'm not sure about the whole popping thing. What does that mean, popping? Got some smudgies on my meteor. Comes right off because they're of a... Uh, well, this one's a hard plastic, and this one is a... I think they pop like that. You squeeze them and then they pop. We'll see. Maybe it tells you. I've never done them, so I'm learning as I go here. Maybe there's some instructions on how to pop them. Crashtronomy gameplay. Meteor catch. One player. Space jump. Okay. Put your meteor in the... Uh, oh, pop your meteor in the air and catch it in a cup. Challenge yourself by starting with a wide uh, something cup. Hmm. Wide rim cup. As you get better, challenge yourself by using a cup with a smaller rim. Okay. Space jump. Uh, each kid places their meteor on the table in the popping position. The meteor that pops the highest wins. And then one or more players set your crashlings up on your uh, up on one end of the table in a triangular position. Roll your me meteor down and crash it into your crashlings. The more you knock down, the better you'll score. One point earned for every crashlings you knocked over. Ooh, those are tiny, tiny words there. Tiny, tiny, tiny. All right, so crashlings, crash astronomy chart. Here, let me zoom into that chart. It's hard to hold it and all that, so this way you can, you know, study that. Do you have these? Do you collect these? Is this something that you've collected? All right, did you get a good look at that? You know, if you didn't get it, just pause and enlarge the video. It looks like there's also a sea life. So there's the dino series, the alien, the sea life, the insect, and the monster. So let's just see now. Popping, popping. Let's put the figure back. And then the popping. And I believe it's with this end piece. So this, if you reverse it and set it down, it pops. Now mine doesn't hold too long. But watch this. Here we go. It actually hit my light, and it goes at least four feet high. So that's what they're doing with the popping technique. Watch it again. Boo! All right. And that was uh, one of the games. I guess they kind of show it here in this picture. See? He's, uh, they're flying in the air. Now the other games, I think, involve rolling your meteor against your crashlings to see how many you knock over. All right, so we don't need to do that just yet because we only have one. Let's take out another another one here. This is the aliens. And if you collect these, do you have a favorite one? Let us know in the comments. Ah, cool. So there's the alien. I'll show these all up really close here. Now you don't want to stand. A lot of times it's an area on my countertop. So again, you flip it, ooh, popped out of my hands. I will put it back so I don't pop it again. And then let's see the aliens. 
There must be a whole set of those as well. So that is the Alien. I didn't even look to see which one we had. This one has three eyes on the top. Uh, let me let you study that one. And then I'll go grab the other sheet and see if I can find the one we already opened. Look for the three-eyed one. While I look for this one here, let's see, the first dino. Hmm. Wide mouth, a fin on the back. It's hard to really tell with these tiny pictures front on. All right, well, I'll let you tell me in the uh, description of the, uh, yeah, in the comments below. I'm not going to even bother looking. You tell me what they are because you can actually study it more. So now I just want to get to the next one. That's what I want to do. All right, so this one here is Monsters. All right, cool. Let's put this one behind this one, this one behind this one. We're kind of building them up now. I will show you the figures closer up. Just getting them all set. And then I'll let you study this. I'm not going to even look. All right, leave it in the comments. Give me all their names. Here is the last, uh, here's the next one. All right. Can you tell? I'm cleaning up. While you do that, pause and enlarge. All right, there you go. And then I will get to the next one. Sometimes after the video, I will look and see because... I need to add them in the uh, title sometimes, or we put them in the title, so I need to have that in there. All right, the next one. So that is the insects. That one is cool. Probably easier to find on that sheet. Okay, ooh, I ripped it. That was an accident. Okay, so here's the insect sheet. I'll do it again. I'll just put it down. It seems to be easier probably for you to look at all the different ones. It's a two-headed bug-like creature. Um, looks like this one. The Crater Pillar. That's what I see. Alright, so now you're helping me out in the comments. I'm going to bring these in now a little closer. We can take a look at them. You've seen one of the popping actions. But right now I want to take a look at the figures so you can get a nice close-up of those. Need to know who's collecting these in the comments. Do you have all of them? All 150. Can you imagine? All 150 on display. You move him up a little. All right, now they're backs. And then I will, I'll just turn them to their sides and then back to their fronts. I don't think I can get all four to pop for you. But at least we now have seen and learned about the Crashlings. All new to me. But, you know, a lot of you out there have seen these, have them. Let me see if I can get a few ready to pop. Yeah, where's the How Many Can You Pop series? Let's see if I can do three. See if they all pop in time. I'm going to put them all down. Ooh, he popped. Ooh, two. Whoa! All right, both on the floor now. That green one is wants to pop instantly. Oh, there you go. All right, cool. So that is the Crashlings. Again, you all uh, found them in these sheets for me, and you're going to put it in the comments so then I know. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. And uh, we do have more in this series, actually. So we're going to show you another set and then a bigger play set that we have. We just wanted to start opening these because we're going to need those in the other sets. So thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thank <laughs> you.